Let's walk through all the parts that you need to get set up for the machine. So you notice I have some thread close by. One of the threads that you need is a bobbin weight of thread. Wind yourself a bobbin. I've gone ahead and already done that. This is a much finer thread. It, you get a lot on your bobbin, so definitely make sure that you're using something like that. And uh, we've put on foot number 26. That's kind of like a darning foot. We've put on the a, a single hole or straight stitch throat plate and also told the machine that we've done so by telling it that we're not using the nine millimeter throat plate but the zero millimeter. We need to reach over here on the side of the machine and lower the feed dogs down. They'll turn yellow when those are lowered. Great. And for our embroidery unit, we'll go ahead and bring that in. Notice the machine is on, so we wanna go ahead and attach that. It, it, it can be done while it's off or while it's on. The other thing is you wanna make sure that you're on a nice flat surface. So for any reason your table is bowing a little bit, that could make these not connect all the way. The other thing is, is to go ahead and push your machine onto the table. Just make sure it's not gonna hit up against the wall later or pets or coffee cups. So make sure that all this area is completely cleared off. So the reason for pushing it forward is so when you stand up and you probably are sitting in a spinning chair, a roller chair, that it doesn't actually hit this embroidery arm. Uh, believe me, I see that happen in classes. So I always have people kind of push their machine. Just again, make sure you have plenty of room behind you to do so. Another thing that you can do is even attach the slide on table. So that can also come in and give you a little workspace. Now you see right here, this embroidery arm is a little too close to do that. So I'll show you where we can adjust that in a little bit. But I love the fact that it'll kind of support our embroidery hoop instead of having it kind of tip. It'll actually have a nice uh, work surface to slide on. All right, so once we have attached the embroidery unit, we need to tell the machine that we wanna to go to the embroidery side. So it's been in sewing uh, already, or been there, so we'll touch the home button, and then we can touch the part for the embroidery hoop. So everything will kind of reset, and then we'll be able to get in to our machine. We've got alphabets, we've got built-in designs, we've got anything that we've saved. So let's just go in here, we'll just pick out something Fun. These are some quilting designs, actually. Can you imagine quilting your embroidery, uh, quilting with your embroidery machine? It's something that we do quite often because, of, well, I don't know about you, but sometimes my feathers don't turn out as perfect. And this is one way I can go ahead and get that set up. We've gone ahead and put an embroidery needle in with your fabric is what you're kind of matching. So with a cotton fabric with two layers of tearaway stabilizer, we could use either a 7511 embroidery needle or a 9014. Kind of just depends on what you are doing. Uh, it, it, that's kind of a halfway point. If you're starting to get more layers or something thicker, go with the bigger needle. Something lighter and not so heavily stitched, you can definitely use the smaller needle. So let's go ahead and we'll just thread up. We've gone ahead and we've put our embroidery um, our bobbin thread in the bobbin. The other thing that I would recommend is instead of putting your thread up here is to actually get a separate thread stand uh, to put the thread on. Believe me, it works a lot better, smoother. This machine runs so quickly that we would, it really just helps make sometimes the thread not fly out of this back guide. Again, it's nothing wrong with the machine or the thread, it's just the speed of it gets that thread going so quickly. The other thing that we want to do is tell the machine that we have actually attached the embroidery foot. So see right here where there is a red exclamation point? Go ahead and touch that and tell the machine it's recommending foot number 26 with the yellow star here, but go ahead and touch it so you can confirm that you have actually added that and then that will go away. If you don't do that, you won't be able to actually get to the embroidery screen. The other thing is, is this design was a smaller design, so it does recommend the smaller of the hoops, you actually the medium hoop. So let's go ahead and start by telling it that we will be using the oval hoop and then that one will be all set up. So we'll get into how we get to the embroidery part, what else you can do with this design for the eye for information, things we can do. We can size this, rotate it. Uh, there's so many things that you can do. And of course, see where that embroidery design is going to stitch on your fabric. So continue on with the tutorials and we'll continue to teach you everything you need to know about embroidering on the Bernina 770 Quilters Edition.